Happy Friday, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's designer chat. My name is Mia Farrell. I'm a designer with ACO and I'm love where you live. And I'm here every Friday talking all things design. With this being the Friday before Thanksgiving, I've got a little bit of a special topic today. We are discussing Butler's pantries, very popular design idea, very popular area of the home, especially for people that like to entertain. And my guest today, Kit Golden with Kit Golden Interiors is going to talk with us a little bit about um, some projects that she's got going on and um, just exciting things about um, the, the concept of having a Butler's pantry. So thanks so much for joining Kit. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So excited to talk about this. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of that kind of layout in a kitchen. You know, we work with a lot of custom builders and saw a lot of this at Homerama, um, that just kind of extension of the prep space, right? So it's not just a tiny little pantry anymore. It's got a little bit of a, of a expansive area that has a lot of cabinetry, a lot of counter space, maybe some additional appliances or smaller appliances, maybe some wine and liquor storage. Um, it's a very popular thing that people would love to have for entertaining, I'm sure. Absolutely. And so you have a project right now that you're working on. So talk to us a little bit about what the driving factors behind the Butler's Pantry design were for this project. Absolutely. Uh, so my client is a um, baker at heart. So she loves to bake. It's a huge hobby. She loves to entertain. Um, she had a, in their home, they have a dining room, a normal dining room, it never really got used. She felt it was a wasted space. It has beautiful, mm -hmm. day, beautiful daylight. So we actually decided to turn the dining room into an extension of the new kitchen and turn that into a walk-in butler's pantry um, to host all of her you know, entertaining, um, baking needs and big to small appliances. Um, so yeah, that we just turned it into a functional space because she would use it so frequently. Yeah, I love that because then she's got all that natural light, which is great because I feel like sometimes when you see a butler's pantry, it's like a little secret right. <laughs> back behind the cabinetry, maybe in another room and you kind of have to leave your space and, you know, um, kind of tuck yourself back into a little corner. Um, with this though, she's got all those windows. That's fantastic. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous daylight. So we, um, that's one one side of the pantry and we, you know, open shelving will be right for her. Eat drawers will post um, like serving platters, baking mm -hmm. trays, um, you know, so she'll have plenty of storage. Um, the other side of the pantry has a wine fridge. Love it. Yep. yep. So, and then underneath the windows there, we did pull out drawers for additional storage, just kind of for the unexpected. Yeah. So, so this is the kind of space for her. Is she going to actually be doing baking in this space? I don't think so. Um, it's more just an extension of extension. everything. Mm -hmm. About, um, we kind of used it for... Um, overflow um for all of her stores and things but um yeah there's not like a working island in there or anything like that but sure, sure. Have counter space to be able to you know prep and like that and um we did not do a sink in this particular butler's pantry but i do think that that's a great idea mm -hmm. yeah absolutely for being able to you know wash things off quickly and not have to you know rush back into the kitchen for um, access to water. I think that's a great idea. And, you know, I'm always here for a wine fridge. So I love that idea too. <laughs> and the shelves are great. You know, a lot of times when you, you think about a pantry, people end up with the sad wire shelves where things don't right. stick up and they fall over. We're not talking about that kind of shelving. We're talking really nice. Yep. Wood shelving. Um, I think it's a really nice opportunity too to maybe incorporate some lighting, uh, maybe some task lighting. Um, there's so many opportunities with a space like this, especially in this case, when you have so much room to work with. Right, right. And you, I think it's good for design wise as a show space too, like where you can put really cool, unique accents in that space and where, you know, something you can just put in your kitchen. Um, so yeah, like a fun tile, a fun light fixture, wall, uh, wallpaper. Back oh yeah. You no, know, you could go crazy in that space. So it's, you know, a lot of fun to design. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice opportunity to be a little bit more bold with, yeah. <laughs> with some of your selections. Yeah, 
photos of your particular selections for this project, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a board, a board that I did. Mm -hmm. I think it shows us a light fixture maybe. Oh yeah, I love that pattern style. It's so yeah. cute. Yep. So that's the countertop in the main kitchen. And then we're going to do a different countertop in the pantry. And I believe that's on the design board. So it should be the next picture, Shane. Yep, there we go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, is it like a black suede countertop? It is. Oh, I love it. That's so pretty. Thank you. I'm excited. It's such a great material. Yeah. Yeah. And I love, you know, when you when you mix black and white and then you bring in that nice kind of blondish wood. Yeah. A nice palette. It kind of helps soften up the black and white. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's awesome. I love it. I love the light fixture. I love everything about it. It's going to turn out fantastic. I'm so happy for your client. <laughs> it all starts next week, so super excited about it. Yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. so great. You know, I know it's it's a weird time in the world, and Thanksgiving isn't going to be the same as it normally would be. But you know, this can give her the excitement that maybe next year. Yeah. Maybe here she'll get to utilize this butler's pantry to entertain and really just utilize that extension of her kitchen space, all that extra counter space, all that extra storage. That's going to be right. so awesome for her. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you've done a great job designing it for your client and I just appreciate you so much for joining us today and thanks. Thanks a million and have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Yeah, you too. We'll talk to you thanks soon. Thanks so much. Okay.